isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa atin sa DZRH at sa nanonood sa RHTV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Bago ang lahat, nais namin kayong anyayahan sa pagpapatuloy ng 22nd performance season ng Ballet Manila na may temang Flights of Fantasy. As our second offering for this season, magbubukas sa darating na Sabado, October 7, ang full-length production ng Swan Lake. Pangungunahan po ito ng aming mga debuting Odette Odiles na sina Catherine Bartman, Abigail Olivero at Joan Emery Sia. Kasama din ang international principal dancer na si Joseph Phillips na resident guest artist namin sa taong ito. Ballet Manila's Swan Lake will go on stage at 6 p.m. on October 7 and 14 at 3 p.m. naman on October 8 and 15. Tickets are now available at Ticket World Manila outlets or online at www.ticketworld.com.ph o tumawag lang kayo sa 891-9999. Samantala, bahagi pa rin ng ating pagbabalik tanaw sa kasaysayan at kung paano mapapangalagaan ang ating kultura at tradisyon sa iba't ibang paraan, makakasama natin sa hapong ito ang mga kinatawan ng isang grupo na may layuning ipaalala sa ating mga kabataan ang kabayanihan ng ating mga sundalo sa iba't ibang digmaan. At ginagawa nila ito sa pamamagitan ng role-playing at reenactment ng mga eksena sa digmaang ito. Kakaiba, di ba? Kaya't huwag kayong aalis dahil kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan ang naghihintay sa atin kasama ang mga kinatawan ng Philippine Living History Society. Ang Philippine Living History Society ay isang organisasyon na may layuning ipaalam sa mga kabataang Filipino ang kabayanihan ng mga sundalong nagtanggol sa ating bansa noong ikadalawang digmaang pandaigdig. Gamit ang pamamaraang entertainment and immersion, ipinapagunita ng samahan ang kagitingan ng ating mga kawal sa pamamagitan ng mga reenactment, airsoft war games, online discussions, on-location tours, on-campus static displays, film and TV consultancy, prop rental at school presentations. Isang mainit na pagbati ang hatid ng art to art sa mga kinatawan ng Philippine Living History Society. Kasama po natin ang mga kinatawan ng Philippine Living History Society na sina Albert Labrador at Diego Almirante. Welcome to Art to Art, Albert and uh, Diego. Uh, so, mga kaibigan sa mga nakikinig sa radyo na hindi nakikita ang ating mga bisita ngayon, sila po ay nakasuot ng uniforming pansundalo na, sa mga nakaraang digmaan. Na. So, Albert, Diego, can you describe for us ano yung suot ninyo at saang gyera siya ginamit? Actually, yung suot namin is uh, both used galing sa World War II. World Ang War II, okay. suot ko okay. is the khaki uniform na ginamit ng USAFE forces uh -huh. noong unang uh, nag-invade yung mga Hapon. Ah. So, when the Japanese invaded, nakakaki sila lahat. Mm -hmm. uh, Tapos it, merong parang ano? Ito ho, ang tawag parang, dito is leggings. Okay. Uh, para maprotektahan ang ano, paa, hindi mapasukan ang dumi yung boots. Ah, tsaka to protect I you see. from uh, thorns in the jungle. Mm. So, mm -hmm. as you can see, suit din niya. So, that's... Uh, Used all the way from 1930s hanggang 1945s, hanggang dumat dumating na uli yung mga Amerikano. So what Diego is wearing is. Ah, ano? Nung bumalik yung mga kano yung ano liberation campaign. Um, uh -huh. 1944-45. Okay. Ito naman yung standard uniform ng mga Amerikano. Nung mga guerrilla nung naglink up sila sa mga kano. Basi to yung pa patapos ng guerra to yung sort nila. Unlike Alberts. Which is dito na gupis ha, and it ended with this. This material is called the herringbone twill. Herringbone twill or ano HBT. HBT. I see. The different helmets that were worn was the invasion of the Mangalong. Because hindi lang mga suot nila, meron pa silang mga props dito sa sa studio. May mga baril pa. 
na nandito sa studio mga helmet, canteen, uh, uh, ano, Touches, ano, bayonet. Bayonet. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So, sige, Albert, so, tell when us. When the Japanese ano invaded, uh, the Americans and the Filipinos were using two different kinds of helmet. No? Okay. Ang tawag dito is the dishpan, kasi mm -hmm. mukha siyang dishpan. Oo nga. Uh, or 1917 Kelly helmet. Mm -hmm. Now, this was the same helmet that the Americans were using in World War I. Mm -hmm. So, sobrang obsolete na siya. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, it was still in use by the Americans nung nag-invade ang mga hapon noong 1941. Mm -hmm. Ang gamit naman ng Philippine Army, since it was formed Wait under Quezon, sige please. Itong... Oh, very interesting to. Ah, eh. Mukha uh, siyang sombrero. Actually, replica lang ito. Uh -huh. Pero the Americans and our Philippine constabulary were equipped with this M1917. But uh, President Quezon had a task to outfit the entire Philippine Army. Uh -huh. They started uh, outfitting mga 1930s lang. Okay. So wala na silang oras uh -huh. at wala silang budget uh -huh. as usual. Uh -huh. uh, gumawa <laughs> sila ng helmets out of uh, ginit. Which uh -huh. is coconut fiber. Uh -huh. So most Philippine soldiers who came into World War II uh -huh. had their heads protected from the sun, uh -huh. but not from enemy shrapnel. Uh, I see. So ganun ka kawawa okay. mga Pilipino no. at the start of the oh. war. When the Americans came back during liberation, mm -hmm. ang suot na Manila itong M1 na steel pot helmet. Mm -hmm. So much so that ibang iba yung itsura niya, no? Uh oh. So. When the Americans arrived to rescue yung mga, ano nila, yung mga imprisoned civilians, mm -hmm. they didn't even know who was rescuing them. Mm -hmm. Kasi iba na yung Hindi sila nakilala, iba mm -hmm. na yung uniform. Yeah, it's completely different. Okay, oo. Oh, oh. So, oh. yun. Okay. And it, ito mga ito ba ay mga genuine na galing talaga sa World War II o mga replicas? Halo, halo. Halo, yes. okay. Uh, dahil some of the mga genuine items, masyado ng, uh, what do you call this, masyado ng valuable para oh, gamitin oh. sa mga reenactments. Oo oh, oh, nga naman. So, we tend Baka to hindi mix. Na, hindi na mabalik. Yeah, we tend to mix <laughs> mga original items. Ito, original ito. Uh -huh. Original ito. Uh -huh. Yung bayoneta, original. Yung suot ni Diego, original actually okay. yan. Okay. Minsan, sineswerte kaming nakakahanap ng mga original uniform items sa mga... Uh, Ukay, ukay, mm. uh, mm -hmm. But that's very rare. Okay. So usually we have a tailor uh -huh. make these things or uh -huh. we buy them uh, on the reenactors market. I see. Okay, so reenactment. Let's talk about reenactment. Mm -hmm. And ang konsepto ng war reenactment yes. in particular na ginagawa ninyo sa Philippine Living History Society. Um, was this something na uh, you picked up or was it an original idea? Uh, and uh, ano yung... Well, what what inspired you to do this? Mm -hmm. uh, if I start now, uh -huh. uh, okay. we grew up. Most of the founding members ng PLHS, we grew up in the 1970s. Mm -hmm. So during that time, maraming mga scene, maraming mga what you call this uh, TV series mm -hmm. na about gera. Mm -hmm. in our in the previous generations mindset. Naalala, naalala palagi nila ang World War II. Mm -hmm. So we grew up with that interest. Mm -hmm. uh, we were reading books, watching movies. Mm -hmm. Tapos uh, marami sa amin na pasok sa hobby ng scale modeling. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, all this time, uh, ang reenactment was not seen as something na posibleng mangyayari sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Dahil masyadong mahirap, walang masyadong seryosong taong mm -hmm. magkukolekta ng mga ganito, bawal mm -hmm. ang baril, mm -hmm. uh, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, there's a group in America, well, everybody knows na in the States, Normal talaga reenactment. Mm -hmm. You have uh, civil war reenactments where you have thousands mm -hmm. participating. Mm -hmm. Kami, inggit lang kami. Mm -hmm. kami, kami <laughs> uh -huh. There is a group in the States called Buhay na Kasaysayan, mm -hmm. uh, which is a small group of Filipino reenactors. Mm -hmm. So, para lang ma-expose uh, ma nila sa kultura, sa mga Amerikano, the role of Filipinas, Filipinos during the 1898 war, mm -hmm. yung revolution natin, mm -hmm. tsaka yung uh, war against the Japanese, mm -hmm. they formed a small group. Kasi mm -hmm. posible doon, pwede mm -hmm. bumili ng gamit, pwede uh -oh. bumili ng baril. Uh -oh. Eventually, uh, may mga miyembro silang pumunta dito sa Pilipinas. Uh -huh. And uh, 
actually tried to organize mm -hmm. uh, BNK. And they went to this guy named the uh, engineer, Perry Javier. Mm -hmm. And uh, siya talaga yung nagpasimuno ng lahat nito. Mm -hmm. And they saw that it was possible. Mm -hmm. So they started um, looking for antiques, mm -hmm. buying stuff. Uh, yung isang... Uh, instrumental din is biglang naging available ang mga airsoft guns na World War II. Mm -hmm. So, replicas mm -hmm. na legally mm -hmm. legally acquired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Si Diego is one of our newer members. Younger. Mm -hmm. Younger okay. members. Uh -huh. uh, kailan ka ba sumakas? Ano, oh, hindi, hindi ka mukhang lumaki ng 1970s. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> talaga. Uh, so, 2014, di ba? Oh, 2014. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, gano'n nakatagal ang Philippine uh, Living History Society? Well, Marami siyang pangalan, ano? but uh -oh. more or less, it started as a World War II-themed airsoft group in 2008. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ang buhay na kasaysayan started a little bit before that. I see. And because uh -huh. of the nature of the interest, lahat kami magkakilala. Uh -huh. So parang porous na yung ano, I see. na buo yung grupo. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, why this fascination with the war? Uh, well, <laughs> with me... Uh -huh. It's part of it's part of my upbringing. My uh -huh. father yeah. got me into it. Uh, I don't uh, blame you. My actually, yung asawa ko, my husband Fred, talagang he's completely fascinated yeah. with war and and it's like World War II, um, especially yes. you know. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Uh, it's uh, well these days, especially no, it can be seen as politically incorrect. Mm. But uh, ang ano namin is to uh, we want. We, we got interested in this, siyempre for the same childish reasons as everybody did before, maborma, magaling, nakakaaliw, mm -hmm. maraming glory, mm -hmm. so, so on and so forth, like the movies. Mm -hmm. But as we matured in the group, and as we matured as uh, we call ourselves amateur historians, you mm -hmm. read more and more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And part of the reason of existence for the group is actually to tell uh, students, mm -hmm. to tell the youth, that war is a terrible thing. Mm, yeah. uh, we have a reenactment of the Battle of Manila. Mm -hmm. And uh, may narration kasi yun eh. Mm -hmm. And the last line is that uh, when the Battle of Manila was finished in 1945, uh, you had 1,000 American dead, maybe mm -hmm. 20,000 Japanese dead, mm -hmm. but 100,000 civilian dead. Mm. So, hindi lang, we are not into it to uh, to to build up any glory except of course the appreciation of the sacrifice people made yes that's but true. perhaps mm -hmm. more importantly is uh the legacy that our veterans tell us that yeah. war is a terrible thing of course yes. of course yeah okay so diego is a very new member right yes, so, um you joined in 20 uh, 2014 14 mm. okay so na ilang miembro ba kayo in the uh, sa kasalukuyan well, sa samahan uh, hindi medyo, tayo yeah. har, har, mano, medyo mahirap kasi ano eh, mag-gauge hindi constant yan uh, oh, ah, ano okay. siguro at any one time mga 30 yeah, oh, 30 yes. active, oh, and then when there's active. a big reenactment, nag aabot ng 50 uh -huh. to 60. I see. 50 to 60. And puro lalaki ba? Or no, may mga babae no, 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 din? Mga babae. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, they have to play roles as uh, medics, as Filipino civilians. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of uh, guerrilla leaders who were mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. Si Yai Panlilio was mm -hmm. a journalist, mm -hmm. and she actually headed a large uh, guerrilla group. Mm -hmm. So, meron din silang. Very, the women's story is very important mm -hmm. in war. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially, for example, in Bataan, where uh, we had two hospitals in Mariveles who mm -hmm. were working, you yes. know, without uh -oh. supplies and everything, keeping uh -huh. everybody as healthy as could possibly okay. be done. Uh -huh. And then we had, uh, we have to show also yung suffering ng mga civilians. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we sometimes have children and women uh, doing the reenactments as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming na lahat uh, lahat kayo ay mga vol volunteers? Volunteers. Lahat. All volunteers. Yes. And so how do you fund your projects mm. and your reenactments? Mm. Dahil, syempre, magastos din yun, uh, di ba? Uh, lalo na sa mga equipment, you yeah, know. Yes. And 
I'm sure may mga rehearsals din kayo para Absolutely. din it's like a it's like a theatrical it's like performance. A theatrical yeah. performance. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, what we do is we usually partner up with uh, organizations. For mm -hmm. example, our last big reenactment was done in Camp Aguinaldo, mm -hmm. and this was done sponsored by PIVAO, mm -hmm. the Veterans Association. I see. Okay. Uh, we've also done reenactments funded by uh, enterprises like Hero Foundation mm -hmm. to raise funds for uh, yung mga widows and families of. Uh, Philippine Army mm. personnel who were killed or wounded in action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so we try to do a lot of benefit, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of benefit activities. Um, funding is covered by uh, sometimes we charge a small uh, honorarium, mm -hmm. but uh, the collections themselves are self-funded. Mm -hmm. uh, may mga taong hin talaga magsiskip ng pagkain para lang para so, lang right. so mga equipment na ito ay uh, tinatago sa mga sa kanya-kanyang mga yeah, bahay. Yeah, kanya kanya-kanyang bahay. Okay. Personal, personal equipment. Tapos personal. meron din kaming pool of equipment uh -huh. that's used for reenactment. Uh -huh. So we understand na yung mga bagong members usually cannot afford yes. everything at uh -huh. one time. Uh -huh. So meron kaming pool equipment that is passed out uh -huh. to help. For example, pag naka-partner kami sa AFP we have some soldiers who join. Mm. They want to join the reenactments. Mm. Mm. Alang naman expect namin bibili nila yung, yung gamit, so mm. we we give them from our equipment pool. I see, I see. Okay, so um, how much um, research goes into the work that you do? Mm. Mm. That's very important, because ang ano is we we cannot be seen as revisionist. Mm -hmm. Hindi tayo pwedeng mag-invento ng history or uh -oh. we cannot twist things in a, in a way because that would be totally against our reason for existence. Mm -hmm. So we work with several historians. Mm -hmm. Tsaka, ano, usually I was I, I, I'm the scriptwriter for the for the organization. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of reading. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you were to do one of our more popular reenactments is the Battle of Abukay. Uh, which took place in Bataan, mm -hmm. uh, it takes a lot of reading, maybe three, four, five articles plus two books. Mm -hmm. And then after a script is put together, that is passed on to historians to vet. Mm -hmm. So we usually work with uh, Dr. Rico Jose mm -hmm. uh, of the Third World Studies Center, mm -hmm. CMP. Mm -hmm. uh, we work with Jose Custodio mm -hmm. and other historians. Mm -hmm. So. We have to make sure. Eh, kailangan may, oh, may check and balance. Oh, syempre. Yan. Oh, oh. Pero how long is a presentation then? Kung, very, short. Uh, very short. Very short, short lang. Uh, 20 ang, minutes, I'd say. Around 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. That's the whole, the whole script. The whole thing. After all the writing, research, yes. and everything, it results in a 20 minute. The reason for the brevity of that no? is uh, dahil sa states, when you have reenactments, uh -oh. Uh, they use live fire weapons. Mm. Meron sila mga tanke. Mm. Meron sila mga you know, all sorts of vehicles oh, and pyro and here. airplanes and uh -huh, stuff like uh -huh. that. So that when the thing starts, everyone is just the jaws drop and everyone yeah. uh -oh. is entertained uh -oh. Uh -oh. by the mere presence of what's there. Yes. Uh -oh. Now, kami, because we're in the Philippines and because you know our budgets really don't go that high. Yeah. Uh, we do use, we do sometimes use real firearms when they are loaned to us by the AFP. Mm -hmm. uh, but most of the time, uh, we use pyro and uh, pyrotechnics and uh, blank fire guns plus uh, narration. Mm -hmm. So we've determined na yung maximum time na you can hold somebody's attention with that and tell a story. Mm -hmm. The important thing is they come home with a story. Yeah, uh -oh. it's uh, 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes. Okay. Anything longer than that, <laughs> may mga tulog na sa ordinary. Okay, okay. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa mga gawain ang ng Philippine Living History Society. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos na ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghalan at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa musika, iniahandog ng Cultural Center of the Philippines kasama ang Rustan Commercial Corporation at Philippine Italian Association ang two-act comic opera na Lelizier d'Amour or 
The Elixir of Love October 7, alas 7 ng gabi at October 8, alas 3 ng hapon tanghalang ni Canor Abilardo ng Cultural Center of the Philippines Tampok sa pangunahing papel sina Italian soprano Elena Monti, Costa Rican tenor David Astorga, Italian bass baritone Francesco Vultagiot, Korean baritone Byung In Park Kasama rin sa natatanging papel si Filipino soprano Rachel Herodias Bilang pagdiriwang ng kanilang ikalabing limang taon, iniahandog ng Ateneo Chamber Singers kasama ang kanilang conductor na si Jonathan Velasco ang kanilang Crystal Jubilee Concert na pinamagatang 15. Mapapanood ito October 7 alas 8 ng gabi sa Church of Jesusa, Ateneo de Manila University, Katipunan Avenue, Quezon City. Kasama rin sa concert ang guitarist na si Johnny Salvador, ang Ateneo Grade School Headmaster at ang pianistang si Joed Balsamo. Sa teatro, iniahandog ng All Nippon Airways sa pakikipagtulungan ng The Japan Foundation Manila at ng Japan National Tourism Organization ang Rakugo in English. Isang Japanese sit-down comedy, October 7, alas 3 ng hapon sa Carlos P. Romulo Auditorium, RCBC Plaza, Makati City. Tampok dito si Kaishi Katsura, ang kinikilalang top performer ng English Rakugo at dating Japan Cultural Envoy, kasama si na Asakichi Katsura at Fukuryu Katsura. Magtatanghal din si Koki Hauraya ng Daikagura Traditional Clowning, isang vintage street art na may elemento ng acrobatics juggling, magic, dance at comedy. Para sa karagdagang detalye, bumisita sa website jfmo.org.ph Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balerina ng bayan si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin natin ang mga kinatawan ng Philippine Living History Society na sina Albert Labrador at Diego Almirante. Okay, since putting up the group, uh, it was in 2013, right? That no, no, actually no. 2008. Oh, 2008. Well, 2013 formally under that name. I see, oh. under Philippine Living, Living History, History Society. Society. Okay, oh. so 2008. Um, you've come up with many activities. Quite a few. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so what are these? What kinds of these? Are they all reenactments? No. 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 Uh, marami yun. Uh, during the last, our most recent was mm -hmm. our appearance in HistoryCon. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked with Philippine Veterans Bank. Mm -hmm. And kami actually yung center point ng exhibit nila being Philippine Veterans Bank's uh, reason for existence is mm. to help, help our veterans. World War II veterans. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. they wanted a World War II exhibit. Uh -huh. uh, meron silang, they have an excellent photo exhibit called War of Our Fathers, but okay. they wanted to go one up. Uh -huh. So ang ginawa namin is we produced a, uh, we and other their designers produced a centerpiece that mm. had a replica World War II tank in the middle. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we provided um, reenactors walking around so that the public can have pictures taken and mm -hmm. so that we can go around explaining the photographs mm -hmm. and what's, what mm -hmm. is there. Okay. Ano naman, Filipino talagang gusto nila uh -huh. selfie talaga. Uh -huh. Yes. Puro oh, selfie. Okay. Siguro, mara Diego, maraming na nagpa-selfie sa'yo. Ah, no. Masyadong busy po. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so these, all of these, the props, mga kasuot na ginagamit nyo, um, how, how much is expected? I mean, I'm, I'm talking about somebody listening to our program mm -hmm. now now would be interested in joining the Philippine Living History um, Society. How, what, how much more or less ang parang investment nila dito sa pagiging miyembro? It depends actually. Yeah, wait. As a new member, so you think oh. I should answer this No, no you're not typical eh. Hindi siya typical. <laughs> Kasi siya puro original ang suot. Wow. We have several degrees mm -hmm. of, uh, we have several degrees of uh, authenticity. Mm -hmm. uh, Diego is the paragon of authenticity. No, I am not. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> okay. not me. Uh, actually, ganito yun. Um, we have uh, a base standard of uh -huh. what you're supposed to look at. Okay. Uh, when we started out, we started out as an airsoft group. So, katuwaan, mm. laro yun. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're in it for airsoft as a game, mm -hmm. we're not very strict because we're not performing for the public. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, anything that looks reasonably accurate uh -oh. is good enough because it's just a game. Yeah. 
once you start getting into the formal uh, activities of the group, uh -huh. merong base standard yan. Okay. In terms of cost, uh, alright, varies, varies greatly. Parang ganito, mga... Oh, like yung... Yung khakis lang khakis. kasi, for example, is about 2,000 or even cheaper. Oh, and yeah. that's tailored okay. to your and measurements. And that's tailored to your measurements. You have a hat, a shirt, okay. pants. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. Naalala mo ba, Diego, kung magkano yung ginastos mo nung naging member ka ng 2014? Iba to, ibang kaso. I know, I don't want to remember. Okay. I know. <laughs> But, but you know, you're very young. Um, do you find that today's young people are still interested in war wartime history? Um, me meron pa bang mga kabataan ngayon na, na talagang genuinely interesado sa gera o parang inaaral na lang nila sa libro uh, and pagkatapos na hakalimutan? Parang ano, I'd wish na mas conscious sila tungkol sa Guerra, especially when World War II, mm -hmm. you know, Philippines, mm -hmm. you know, we were involved. Mm -hmm. lang malala yung mga sacrifices no mm -hmm. natin. Pero, ano eh, it's, how would you say this? Um, I wish they would be interested. Mm -hmm. But, the reenactment's really not for everybody. Oh, it's, it's, a weird, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a weird it's thing. It's a weird thing. But, we na namin na Manila na weird uh, sila. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. I mean, you know, we try. <laughs> alam, na, alam naman namin. Uh, yun. Alam namin uh -huh. yun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about safety measures? Meron na bang nasaktan Meron. during a reenactment? Meron. 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 Uh, anong klaseng... Um, during history con, for example, uh, you know, injuries are not because of firearms. Okay. That's, that's it. Uh, uh -huh. Because we have to look convincing. Uh -huh. So we have to fall. We have to run yes. around. Oh, oh, oh. There are always chances that someone will get hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully not to a great degree. We, mm -hmm. we haven't had anyone hospitalized. Mm -hmm. uh, during history con, may eksena kaming ano, about this uh, private na uh, Filipino named Ortiliano mm -hmm. who took a Japanese bayonet, mm -hmm. turned it around and stabbed the Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, yung gumaganap na hapon, parang stuntman namin yan, mm -hmm. na palaging siya yung sinasaksak, binubugbog, pinapatay. Uh, okay. uh, humawak siya sa barrel. Uh -huh. So when I pulled the gun out of his hands, uh -huh. gumasgas yung, uh, uh -huh. what do you call this, yung, yung uh, sight. front sight niya. And he had stitches, he had oh, stitches okay. But, you know, it's, uh, it's... Pero with all, like when that actually happened, mm -hmm. did the show stop or... Tuloy, tuloy pa rin. The show must well, go on. Well, thankfully, it was a it was a rehearsal, but the show would have gone on. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Even with all the genuine blood ar yes, around, yes. the show yes. would have gone on. When okay. we do the full full size reenactments, we actually have a lot of explosions going on around us. We uh -huh. have safety. We have safety precautions. Uh -huh. We have not lost. Anything or anyone to okay. a to a reenactment uh, pyro, mm -hmm. uh, but we make sure that it looks dangerous. Yeah. Because without that, wala yung wow factor. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -oh. uh, because nga, as Diego said, the youth. They're, they want explosions. They want explosions. Yeah. They're not really but, into it. Okay, you make sure that it looks dangerous, yes. but is it dangerous? No, it's completely no. safe. We it's use, safe. Uh, we use uh, cinema-grade pyrotechnics. Ah, so, I ang see. mga ginagamit sa cine, usually uh -huh. yung debris na nahuhulog is actually made out of foam. Ah, uh, okay. So, it looks okay. convincing. We uh -huh. have we submitted a few pictures. Uh -huh. um, I think they're there. Okay. Um, that said, no? Um, the important thing, the reason why Pyro is there is to hold the interest. And we've discovered that that because when we got into this, we, we were thinking, Nako, people will just watch this and say, Nako, no, weirdo to. There was one moment, not, I was not present, but when the Buhay na Kasaysayan reenactors did the uh, Gumbursa, uh, yung pagkagarote kay Father, oh. Father Burgos in Ilocos, mm -hmm. Um, they used the original garote, okay. and it was there on stage. Uh -huh. And what we did was we had a Spanish, a group of Spanish soldiers and Filipino soldiers escort Father Burgos to the stage mm -hmm. and turn the. No, siempre si Father Burgos para isi isi lang ato mm -hmm. just three turns. Mm -hmm. There were children in the front row mm -hmm. who were crying, thinking it was real. Mm -hmm. So. It being theater, mm -hmm. people will come home with the realization of the gravity more so than if they were just reading it in a book yes. or if they were asked to memorize it. Uh, uh, uh. Kasi, for example, yung mga ano, World War II reenactments namin, 
it's ridiculous because we have soldiers who walk up to us thanking us for what we do. When mm -hmm. we should be thanking them. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, sinasabi nila na parang, wow, ano, hindi ko alam yan, parang totoo yan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to hold the attention for mm -hmm. even just 15 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is enough to let these people come home with mm -hmm. a realization of something. Yes, a uh -oh. Sacrifice. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. yes. okay. So, um, with it being with it seeming so real, mm. I'm sure uh, ginagawa din kayong consultants sa mga, sa mga sine, sine mm. uh, television shows. Uh, what are some of the projects that you've worked with? We've done a lot of documentaries with uh, Spiron mm. AV of mm -hmm. uh, Sinalaki Guillermo. Mm -hmm. uh, these are documentaries mostly about uh, the guerrillas. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're very honored to have been able to work with them as authenticity consultants. Mm -hmm. uh, things as simple and as mundane as how you hold a gun. Mm. A gun is held in a different way today than it would have been held in the 1940s. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. weapons are appropriate, what are not, yes. what uniforms uh -oh. are appropriate. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, we did that. Uh, a series of uh, documentaries called Unsurrendered and Valor mm -hmm. with Spiron AV. Mm -hmm. We've done, uh, with Ayala Museum, we did a segment on the Korean War mm -hmm. uh, for their uh, President Garcia Centennial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've also mm -hmm. worked as two of our members uh, from Buhay na Kasaysayan have worked with uh, the producers of General Luna as mm -hmm. consultants for costume okay. and movement. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have. Uh, Yung mga member ba hindi nage extra sa mga. Nage extra. Nage extra din, no? Okay. Actually, next week meron siyang mage extra din. Kasi mag may shooting ka next oh, week. Shooting <laughs> <on> first, <laughs> time. Next, next first time. Oh, first time. Oh, wow, excited. So, yes, very excited. <laughs> so, okay. we've also done. Uh, we, we, we pride ourselves in having the most uh, authentic film uh, uh, representation of Japanese soldiers. Uh, in the Philippines, in cinema hmm. today. Uh, oh, wow. We make sure everything is authentic. We have a Japanese consultant. Uh -huh. We have a few Japanese members okay. who can shout orders and give orders in Japanese. Oh, wow. And okay. the group is trained uh, by Japanese field manual. Oh, so, yung galaw, yung okay. orders, yung uh -huh. marcha, mm -hmm. uh, even crawling mm -hmm. is done in a Japanese way. Mm -hmm. So, if you see a movie where we worked, in, worked on, mm -hmm. uh, authentic talaga yung Ano. Uh, other things is we also consult for production design mm -hmm. sa mga films. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes people will walk in with something from the wrong era. Mm -hmm. And we try to make sure that everything is period I authentic. Uh -huh. Kung hindi, we try to hide it in a way na pwede pa. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. So, uh, so you sound really busy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Pero obviously, it, is this a full-time um, profession or is uh, it's it's like a hobby that has become your life? It's a hobby. hobby. Okay. It's a hobby. Uh, we we have guys from all sorts of. I'm a professional. I'm a uh, freelance photographer. Mm -hmm. uh, Diego is a student. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some of the guys, they, they make it part of their, they make a living out of it already, mm -hmm. not full time, but mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, pag may choice, pag may time for to extra in a yeah. film, uh -oh, or uh -oh. to provide props, or to do consultation, uh -huh. or meron yan. Okay, okay. And uh, before we run out of time, are you open to new members, and paano pwedeng sumali sa inyong grupo? Ah, absolutely. Always okay. open to new members, especially young guys like Diego. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's this? We have a Facebook group called mm -hmm. Philippine Living History Society. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. All you have to do is type a query in there mm -hmm. and then we will respond and put you into the World War II Airsoft Facebook group and that is where everything gets disseminated. Okay. That okay. is where the pr procedures get done, mm -hmm. where all of the announcements are made mm -hmm. and where you can ask questions. I see. Okay, so it's really just through the internet. Through the internet. Through, so through far. social media. Yes. So far. Okay. Wala kayong opisina na pwede uh, tawag. Oh, we wish. Wala. We wish. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the future. Soon enough. No? Soon, there okay. Will be Soon enough. Well, maraming maraming salamat sa Thank pagdalaw so ninyo dito sa aming uh, programa. And of course, Albert, Diego, we wish you all the best. Um, Thank, you so much. In Thank you so much. You are making history alive um, for so many. And uh, for that, 
saludo kami sa inyo. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balirina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino.